When you're the boss of Google and you have a love of science, well, anything is possible. You can send your own research ship, for example, like here, the Falcor, to all corners of the globe, including WA. This research ship is supporting WA scientists as they uncover secrets of the deep. The secrets are those of the Perth Canyon at 4,000 metres deep. It's double the depth of the Grand Canyon, 100 million years old and just 20 k's west of Rottnest. The deep sea mystery has captured the attention of the Schmidt Ocean Institute and the prospect of being the first to explore the Perth Canyon proved to be the sort of groundbreaking opportunity the Institute is always on the lookout for. So the Perth Canyon we knew a little bit about, but I didn't realise just how kind of um, impressive and, and unique it was. Having the combination of a, a modern ship that can make fantastic maps, and then having an ROV where you can actually go down and we can go right along the canyon walls that we found and, and photograph it, and then we can actually, we did some very strategic, careful sampling of, of particular corals that we want to do research on. So we're able to make some of the very best high resolution maps and you can see ancient waterfalls that were present in the canyon before it got submerged. When I saw the initial maps, they seemed to show very steep walls. I said, oh, well, that can't be true because, you know, how can they exist underwater for so long? So then we went down with the ROV and we found actually not just vertical walls, we found huge overhangs, right? And an amazing um, geomorphology, just like you can imagine the Grand Canyon being flooded and sitting under the ocean. It's almost the exact analogy. And um, twice as deep. And, um, uh, yeah, twice as deep and probably deeper than what we've explored. Really? Yeah, this canyon has sat there like it was just made yesterday. It's 100 it million years ago. It's 100 million years old, but not much has happened to it. Despite being so close to Perth, this is the first real exploration of the canyon and its deep sea community. Only possible because of the RV Falcor and its remote operating vehicle giving us this amazing view of what lies beneath. Well, basically on the cliffs, uh, near the uh, tops of the cliffs, you would see a, like a band of life that was sitting in the, uh, in the currents. And amongst this, there was a, a, a variety of corals. Uh, and then there was a few, a few small things like echinoderms, like uh, sea stars, uh, uh, things called feather stars, which are very delicate uh, echinoderms with long arms that uh, feed off uh, plankton and small par uh, particles in the water column. These researchers are now looking at all those samples that they collected during their trip, like deep sea corals and seawater. The ultimate aim is to map the effects of climate change. All the waters on the continental shelf are seeing the effects of climate change. And those waters, actually, when they cool up at the end of the summer, they move almost cascade down the um, into the canyon. As our oceans change, this is probably one of the most sensitive regions because it's at the interface between surface waters and very deep waters. And so it is showing the full effects. OK, I know we say this a lot, but the Perth Canyon out there is the definition of a hidden treasure right here in WA. Now, the results of this research will be released over the next few months or so, but if you want to find out more about what happened on this fascinating expedition, head to our website.